Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with my July favorites. And as usual, I'm gonna get started with some beauty products. I have a couple of new products that were released from Chanel that are some travel-sized makeup products. And they are two of my favorite things that I use kind of all the time. I was so happy to see that they were released in travel sizes because the full sizes are a little bit too bulky to travel. And we do have quite a bit of uh, traveling coming up this summer and into the fall. So I thought I would now would be a good time to pick these up. So the first one is the Le Beige. This is the Water Fresh Tint, and I have mine in the shade Medium Deep. And it is just a little miniature version of the, um, the full size. And this is my favorite go-to product for the summertime, especially during the hot, sticky, humid months when I really don't wanna wear any makeup, but I want something that's just gonna even out my skin and just make it look healthy and hydrated. This is like the perfect product for that. So really excited to get my hands on this. And the other product that I was so happy came out in a travel size is the Le Beige um, Bronzing Cream. This is in the shade Medium Bronze and it looks like this. They have three different shades of this. This is the medium one. And I absolutely love this product. This is one that I use all the time um, and when I travel, I don't like to take a lot of brushes with me. So this is one of the perfect bronzers to use with a damp beauty blend blender. Um, it goes on really nicely that way and I'm just really happy to have it in this size. And to be honest, the full size of this is so big, I never seem to finish them. So I'm really happy that it's now available in a smaller size because I think this is just a great day-to-day -day size as well. And if they continue with this in the line, I will definitely continue to purchase this size so that I can actually get through the product so really happy about this um, about both of these purchases and definitely two of my favorites for the month of July and if you saw my recent Kayali review of their new release of the wedding fragrances Silk Santal and Velvet Santal you know that I am a huge fan and I had to pick them up in the full sizes these are my favorite fragrances of the month Silk Santal is the fragrance that was um, developed for Mona on her wedding day and um, Velvet Santal was developed for her husband Hassan on his wedding day and the two fragrances both feature a beautiful base of sandalwood which is one of my favorite notes in fragrance um, I would say the the she version is a little bit um, softer a little bit more kind of light and bright and it's still a creamy sandalwood but there's definitely some sweet fruitiness going on with this one whereas um, Velvet Santal is a lot more woody and deep and uh, definitely still I think very unisex of a fragrance but this is um, the he fragrance of the wedding and I absolutely love both of the fragrances alone I love wearing them together and I'm really just thrilled to have added them into my collection and in terms of fashion favorites since July has been like record heat absolutely like the most hot humid gross weather I've ever experienced anywhere I've ever lived um, I've wanted to really wear nothing but dresses and primarily kind of slip dresses things that are loose and flowy and don't have any kind of waistbands or things that are clinging and um, you know just something to keep me cool so I have really loved um, pretty much all of my slip dresses that I have in my wardrobe but the two that I'd say I've been wearing on repeat are these these are from Jenny Kane um, and these are both sort of animal print uh, long length kind of maxi length uh, slip dresses. I think they might supposed to be midi length, but um, on me they fall maxi length. But I absolutely love these, and anyone who knows me has probably seen me in these dresses at least once this month, if not more, because I just have been wearing them non stop. They are the perfect go to item when it is just hot and sticky and humid, and you don't want to wear anything. And along with all of my slip dresses, the shoes that I have been wearing on repeat are my Tory Burch Miller sandals. These are just the easiest slip on slide on sandals that are sort of like a dressed up version of a flip flop. They're super comfortable. Even when my feet kind of swell in the heat, um, they're something that kind of work with everything. They look really great with a maxi dress and these have just been my go-to for the month of July. And along with my slip dresses and slip on sandals, there have been one pair of sunglasses that I have been turning to the most this month and they are my um, key high key sunnies in the black fade. I just love these sunglasses. They work with just about anything. They look really cute with a sundress and a pair of flip flops. And I just find them to be really comfortable. One of the things I love about them is they have the little um, 
pads for the bridge of your nose so they're not kind of sitting right on your nose because when you're hot and you're sweating and your sunglasses are kind of sliding up and down your face that's no fun so these kind of keep the glasses completely off my face they don't touch my face at all except right those two points of my nose and they're just so comfortable they're very lightweight um, very easy to wear and something that I can wear for hours and hours and not even feel that I have sunglasses on sometimes I forget that I'm wearing them and I just absolutely love them and finally, the handbag that I have been reaching for the most this month has to be my pochette from Louis Vuitton. I know you're probably sick of me talking about this bag so much, but I do really love it. It is truly the most used bag in my collection, and especially when it's just hot and humid and sticky, and I don't want anything on my shoulder or on the crook of my arm or even to have to hold in my hand. This is the perfect go-to hands-free crossbody bag that isn't too heavy that it's going to weigh me down. It's small enough, um, like I said, that it's not too heavy, but it's also large enough to hold kind of just my ascent essentials and nothing more so I'm not taking too much with me um, it kind of forces me to downsize a little bit and I just love it this has been such a workhorse it's a bag that I used to wear primarily when I went on vacation and a lot in the summer months and now I kind of wear it all year round um, it's just a great little casual bag but you can also take the I have the 12 millimeter um, adjustable strap from Louis Vuitton on it that I use to make it a cross body bag and that is kind of how I carry it the most. I don't know if I can back up and show you what this looks like, but no, it's kind of hanging on my hip, uh, but you can adjust it. And I love wearing it that way. It also comes with a smaller kind of shorter strap that you can use it as just a shoulder bag. Um, and you can take the straps off completely and just use it as like a little handheld clutch, which kind of dresses the bag up. If you are taking this bag on vacation and it's kind of one of the only bags you're taking or for me the only bag I ever take when I go on vacation. Um, I just love it for all kinds of purposes and I just think it is like one of the best things I've ever purchased uh, luxury wise and from Louis Vuitton in particular but yeah my pochette NM or new model which isn't new anymore absolutely love it my favorite handbag of July. So those are all of my favorites for the month of July. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great day.